Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, one of you asked me to speak about uh, Mr. Matt Davis and supposed he is a Christian and he have or he made a speech in the Trinity Lutheran Church in Dallas. As you see the name of the video there, it says Understanding Islam. Uh, you know, uh, I don't want to, like, I'm not here to insult this person, but this person is not decent in, in his speech. All his speech is coming from a video. It's called a Misconception About Islam. Right away he starts saying that uh, many people think that Islam is an Arabic religion. In fact, the major population of the Muslims are in Indonesia and Bangladesh, etc., and that make it Asian religion. I mean, the second he said that, right away I noticed that this is taken from this video. Because I made a video about it, responding to that. But it's very stupid to be stupid. To the point to copy whatever the Muslims they say because you think it's smart. For very simple reason. I will go with his logic. Copying from the Muslims. Being not honest. Claiming that he is the one making the article or the speech. If... All the Christians today live in Africa. Is that going to make the Christianity an African religion? I mean, what is the population location have to do with the nature of this religion? This is the most stupid argument ever I heard in my life. And a person who have a PhD and he is a professor, he is taking it and he believe in it? I mean, how crazy that is. I feel sorry for your wife, my friend, because your logic is very stupid. Huh? Based on your logic, if we go to Costco and we found more food, more food made in Mexico, in Costco, that means this food is not Mexican. This food is Costco food. Because we just changed the location. And that's it. That's the, the nature. The nature of the food is not is not Mexican no more. Just we change the location. The population is exist there. So let us say we have uh, uh, we have uh, one trillion uh, uh, canned uh, sardine uh, from Morocco. We move them to uh, Japan, and and then in, uh, in Morocco right now in the second they have only five thousand boxes of it. But in Japan, we have millions. That means this Moroccan sardine is Japanese now? That's very stupid. So change in location, according to this man, uh, whatever the population is, that, that is what is the religion is. And that is very stupid to say. Because, uh, you know, uh, Islam, when it goes to a country, it does not wear the clothes of the country. It does not come... Indonesian. The Indonesian have to come Arab, not the opposite. When Erdogan, he made a speech, this filthy animal, killing the Kurdish today, he make a speech, he don't make a speech by saying words in Turkish. He used Bismillah al-Rahman al-Rahim, Alhamdulillah al Alameen. He is speaking Arabic. Because that will not... He, he cannot be legitimate for the Muslims unless he say those words. So this is an Arabic religion. doesn't matter where you move it. A Muhammad in, in Pakistan or Indonesia or Malaysia, he cannot use different words for the name of their God. As an example, this year he said, the word Allah is just a word meaning God. And we made a video about it responding to some stupid statement made by some. You can watch it. You know, Allah is not a word meaning God, as some idiot they keep saying. And I'm sick of it. Allah is the only name of the God of Islam. You see, Allah, Muslim, they say they have 99 names for Allah. This is not true. There's only one name that is Allah, which means the God. La is the God. Al is either in Arabic is the or equal to word in, in ancient time. It's called, it's a word meaning God. So God, La. Uh, but, you know, what you can do, I mean, those people, they are learning about Islam from the Internet. They are the fruits of a Muslims' product, yet they claim to be Christians. And you will notice that when this guy, he make a speech about uh, Islam, he offend no Muslim. 
I mean, this is alone is enough to prove to you that he is false. And I don't mean offend to like, you know, to say filthy words to the Muslims. No, I mean, when you say the truth, you have to offend somebody. You offend no one. You said nothing. You see, Jesus, he offended the Jews. He offended the rabbis. He offended the Pharisees. He offended everybody. You know, everybody got offended by Jesus. Atheists are offended by Jesus. Muslims are offended by Jesus. Uh, uh, but many people they are offended, you know, even religious Christians they are offended by Jesus. I saw people they are angry from Jesus for saying, you know, uh, you know a certain statement, but yet they claim to be Christians. So, you are a teacher teaching about God, or you are a prophet, or you are a professor, or you are who you are, and you speak about religion and you offend nobody, it means you said nothing. As simple as that. You are just a person. Uh, serving pizza in a restaurant and this pizza fit for everybody and that is impossible unless you are a hypocrite so this is what this man is about however if you can contact him and I offer him a challenge to debate me about what he said in this speech and I will make him the joke of every person in the internet guaranteed I'm not insulting him by the way I'm, I'm, I hope he will listen to my videos but uh, you have to apologize for being stupid what you can say it's not my fault if you are being stupid. You see, stupidity in this case is very dangerous because you are misleading others, not only you yourself being stupid. But he is the, not the only one in the field, uh, you know, uh, he claimed to be a Christian and they do poo-poo when they go to the stage in the church. You know, as an example, if you go to the, uh, James White. Uh, by the way, one of you, he sent me a, a message saying to, to me, uh, we should be, uh, you know, like why we cannot be uh, united. You know, I said to him, like, you know, my friend, let me explain it more. To be united is not about, you know, unity in Christianity. It's not about, okay, you are Christian, I'm a Christian, so we are united. No, this is not the other way. You are truthful, I am a truthful, we will be united. I unite with the truth, not with the person. So if the person is not, is, is not being truthful, he is not a Christian for me. As simple as that. I'm not going to unite with James White, who lie about Christianity and lie about Islam. This person, he will not hesitate to attack any Christian he attack Islam. This is his job. He has two jobs, from the morning until he sleep, attacking the Catholic and attacking Christians speak against Islam. Anyone speak against Islam, you will see James White right away. He make a video about him. If you don't believe me, go. Do you want me to count for you? Christian prince, even he threat that he will tell people who I am. You believe it? I mean, I, I, do I care? Tell them who I am. <laughs> I challenge you. <laughs> he, he, you know, he attack Richubot. Even our beloved brother Nabil Qurashi, may, 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 may the Lord bless his heart. Even this person, he attack him. Sam Shangun, David Wood, Robert Spencer. He left nobody. I mean, this, this guy is like a dog in the field. Whoever walked by, he want to bite him. This is his book uh, that every Christian need to know about the Quran. If you read the whole Quran, the whole book, I did not have it, by the way, but I saw some of the writing of it. You learn nothing about the Quran except what Muslim says. This is a Muslim book. If you go and see the review, this is the review. All the review you will not find one Muslim saying something negative about the book. And that is telling me a lot. You see, the one star is not given by Muslims, it's given by Christians. By Christians, not by Muslims. Not a single Muslim, he gave him one star. Why? My friend, to make it simple, the day the Muslims, they say to Christian prince, God bless you, that means Christian prince is corrupt. If you go right now and see my books and see how many single stars the Muslim they give me in the review, that is telling you who is more truthful when he speak about Islam. Or anything, actually, you know, even if I write right now a book about Christianity, uh, I mean, you cannot make everybody happy, right? But to make a book about Islam and not even a single Muslim is upset from your book, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> so 
for the person who asked me to to do uh, what is called unity my friend we should be united with the truth and the truth is our lord not with persons not with people who they are false and liars i never been part of the family of james white to unite with him again liars are liars and they will end in fire i am a sinner i don't claim to be the angel of god i'm not better than anyone but when it's come to speak about the truth i will say to you the truth for my lord is the lord of the truth and the truth will set you free and if you can explain to me why not a single Muslim upset from James White book about Islam will give me explanation. I want to know why. Why not a single Muslim is upset from this guy about his article or his speech? You tell me why. I, I don't know. Like I want to know why. Obviously, he said nothing. He did nothing wrong to the Muslims. And nothing wrong to the Muslims this means you speak nothing truthful. As simple as that. I hope my point is made and uh, uh, leave your comment you see we are not the same as those cowards who disable their comments people they curse me people they say the f-word to me you are welcome go ahead I'm not stupid to be offended from a stupid person who tried to offend me my brain is bigger than that do your best I am here to offend everyone by delivering the truth for him but not the purpose is to offend him when i speak to muslims i don't speak to the muslims because i want to offend the muslim but i know he will be offended imagine yourself going to work and you have uh, let us say a bird he did poo poo in your jacket regardless if you are a male or a female and then you met 10 of your best friends in the way and none of them told you that there is some ugly dirt in your shoulder. And you arrive to work and you see that thing is in your shoulder. I mean, how upset you will be. That those hypocrite friends, none of them told you. Obviously, they like you to be covered by poop. That's why they did not tell you. I am the person who would love to tell you not because I'm happy to see you covered by poop. No, and I'm talking to the Muslims. Because you are covered by poop. And I'm being honest with you. I want you to be clean. I want you to walk and your shoulder does not have the poop of the devil. I hope my point is clear. May the Lord bless you all. Leave your comment and don't forget to curse me if you don't like what I said. May the Lord bless you, even those who curse Christian friends. For cursing for us is a blessing. As the Lord, he told us, Christ is Lord, Islam is false. I mean to that and see you soon again. Bye-bye.